Hello friends, welcome back. If you are working on big data platform or any uh, related technology, especially on cloud era, then this video will be for you. So here we will talk about CDP or cloud era data platform private cloud versions which are available right now. Before uh, going to that, we will uh, just have a recap about cloud era data platform, what it is and what all solutions it is providing currently. So. Cloudera Data Platform is an integrated analytics and data management platform which offers broad data analytics and AI functionalities, including secure and data governance features. CD, uh, CDP Data Platform or CDP is basically providing three kind of solutions on different uh, environments. Like first one is uh, CDP Private Cloud, uh, which is based on on-prem data centers or we use VMs there. Second one is CDP public cloud, which is uh, available on the cloud uh, public cloud providers like AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. And third one, uh, which is recently launched last month uh, and uh, which is uh, CDP one. That is uh, a SaaS offering, which is a software as a service to uh, provide all those self-service analytics and uh, data science functionalities uh, on any kind of data, which is also called all-in-one data lake house. So these three offerings are uh, currently available for Cloudera data platform, uh, where CDP private cloud is also have two products uh, within this. Uh, one is CDP private cloud base and another is CDP private cloud data services. CDP private cloud base is uh, basically a merger of CDH and HDP services. Uh, the best of both is included in this base version. And the another one is, and okay, uh, first one, uh, this base version is completely on data centers or VMs uh, and you have to manage everything. On CDP private cloud data services sections, uh, you would run your services, some of your services on Kubernetes or container based uh, uh, infrastructure like uh, any of these uh, maybe ECS or OCP. Uh, ECS is embedded container service where Cloudera has uh, built uh, a platform using open source Kubernetes service. And another way is, uh, is OCP which is Red Hat OpenShift container platform but this will be licensed from Red Hat side. So here, uh, this data services can be uh, run on Kubernetes platforms. So this is about CDP private cloud and how, uh, I mean, this can be installed from Cloudera Manager itself. You can uh, see here on the Cloudera Manager page, you, you will get the option data services to install this section on your cluster. Another one, uh, CDP public cloud, uh, as I said, uh, it is based on public cloud providers where we have two offerings like data hub clusters and data services. These data services are uh, almost similar to these data services that also runs on Kubernetes clusters of public cloud providers here. And another one is data hub VMs, which is a VM or instances uh, are used from these public cloud providers. Third one is CDP one. As I said, this is a SaaS a software as a service offering, which is fully managed at data services, similar to public cloud and private cloud data services section. Here uh, it provides a self-service uh, data analytics and uh, data science exploration with any kind of data. This is also man managed uh, on AWS, but maybe in future we might see a on Google Cloud or Azure as well. So this CDP one has built in security and machine learning that requires uh, no management of, uh, about cloud security or monitor operations and which uh, then reduce your cost and risk as well. So these are currently uh, all the offerings from CDP or Cloudera data platform. Let's uh, in this session, we'll see uh, about CDP private cloud versions, which are compatible for base and data services. 
so here uh, we as i said we have two offerings cloud cdp private cloud base and cdp private cloud data services private cloud base is having two components cloud era manager and cloud era runtime and recently cloud era launched our the latest version in august 2022 for cloud era manager it is 7.7.1 .7 and for cloud era runtime it is 7.1.8 but unfortunately this version do not support data services so if you want to run data services then you need to be on cloud era manager 765 version and cloud era runtime you can have 7.1.7 .7 sp1 which is service pack 1 7.1.7 .7 or 7.1.6 sp1 is a service pack 1 which is having some uh, issues and bug fixes uh, which uh, occur during 7.1.7 uh, .7. and here data services latest version is 1.4.0 we can have other uh, older versions available with 1.3.x but this cloud era manager would not be supported for the base version this is only for uh, data services so this as this is uh, the latest one you might be already on 7.6.1 which released in march and that was supporting 7.1.7 .7, sp1 and all other older versions for cloud era runtime this that version was also not uh, applicable or not supported for data services so if you are running base clusters you only should be on 7.4.4 that was released last year in august and or 7.6.1 and recently you may upgrade it to 